Hello everyone and welcome to the course on automotive chase and transmission system. I am excited to take you through the details of the critical components that form the backbone of every vehicle. Before starting the course, let me introduce myself. Myself, Dr. Dr. P. Batmanabhan. I completed my UG in automobile engineering. PG in CAD CAM and PhD in mechanical engineering. I have more than 10 years of teaching experience from automobile department. Currently, I am working as an assistant professor in department of automobile engineering, Ishwar Engineering College. Let me explore the different modules of this course. In this course, we will unpack the construction and the theories behind automobiles drive line steering system wheels and tires braking system and suspension system we will explore not only the working of the system but also gain practical understanding of each system this hands-on learning will be achieved through a combination of theory classes as well as practical session and uh, interactive learning through uh, real-time examples. Let me explore each module in detail. Module 1. Chassis Frame, Front Axle and Steering System in this module, we are going to explore chassis and different types of vehicle frames and different types of vehicle bodies and the different types of construction methods and what are the components of chassis and frame and what are the components used to make the vehicle body. These kind of things we are going to explore in this model. Then we explore the front axle and component of front axle, types of stub axle. These things we are going to uh, we are going to discover in this unit. Then steering system, components of steering system, and uh, different types of steering gear boxes. Also, we are going to cover in this module. Module two, transmission and uh, drive line. So in this module, we are going to discuss about different types of gearboxes such as uh, sliding mesh gearbox, synchro mesh gearbox and constant mesh gearbox as well as automatic transmission. Then we are going to discuss about clutch and various types of clutches and clutch components also we are going to discuss in this module. Then we are going to explore propeller shaft, universal joints as well as differential units and different types of differential units also we are going to explore in this model. Then module 3, rear axle, wheels and tires. In this model we are going to explore rear axle and its components, different type of rear axles and construction of rear axles, wheels tires and construction of tires working of different tires and working of different wheels and different applications also we are going to explore in this model then module 4 suspension system in this module we are going to learn construction method of suspension system and different types of suspension system for example, independent suspension system, telescopic suspension system. So this kind of things we are going to cover in this model. Then we are going to see in detail explanation of shock observer and various components of shock observer and testing of shock observers also we are going to cover in this module. Then module 5, braking system. In this module, we are going to learn about drum brake, disc brake, and power brakes such as vacuum brake, servo brakes also we are going to cover in this module. Then we are going to cover 
ABS. We are going to cover ABS as well as uh, working of different sensors present in the wheels. So that's it from the all five modules. At the end of this course, what you are going to learn and what is the course outcome of this uh, all these modules we are going to see in the next slide. So at the end of the course, students can able to illustrate the chassis frame and front axle of front axle for different road vehicles and design the steering system based on the condition for true rolling and outline the drivetrain components of the passenger and commercial vehicles. And students can be able to identify the suitable rear axle, wheels, tires for different vehicles based on the application. And they can be able to describe the different type of suspension system for automobile automotive applications. And uh, they can also be able to suggest suitable braking system for different types of automobile. So these are all the course outcome of the outcome of after completion of this all these modules as well as this course. So thank you for watching. And that's it from this video. Thank you. Happy learning. Stay tuned for next video. Stay tuned for in-depth insight in each module upcoming videos. Thank you.